This is an introduction to the four-minute-long film promoting the musician's call-out for Para Orchestra. In the opening section, the film is presented by Lloyd Coleman, Associate Music Director of the Para Orchestra, and Charles Hazelwood, Artistic Director. Lloyd is a white man in his thirties with red hair, a neat beard and glasses, wearing a checked shirt over a green t-shirt. Charles is a white man in his fifties with spiky grey white hair and a moustache, wearing a black polo shirt. Lloyd and Charles speak directly into the camera, interspersed with shots of para-orchestra musicians of various ages and ethnicities performing in a diverse range of settings, concert halls, nightclubs, suburban streets and the park stage at Glastonbury, a large colourful festival stage with thousands of audience members. We're looking for professional level musicians who identify as deaf, disabled or neurodivergent who want to join our growing orchestra and join us in making some truly groundbreaking music projects. The Power Orchestra is a professional group of disabled and non-disabled musicians and doing all kinds of work. So you might find us at Glastonbury Festival playing the music of Barry White or on television playing Beethoven or at the Southbank Centre playing the music of Steve Reich. The range of what we do is truly enormous. To me, Power Orchestra is a living, breathing example of an orchestra for now in that it explores and exploits to the nth degree every form of sonic parameter that's imaginable. It's an orchestra plus, plus, plus. In this musician call-out, we really want to hear from musicians who, of course, are versatile, amazing at playing their instrument or using their voice, but it's not only about that. At Power Orchestra, we do a huge range of projects in any number of genres and in all kinds of spaces. So whether you're a classically trained musician like I am, or if you're a musician maybe who's working in jazz or in electronica or in pop, if you're working at the top of your game in your field and you have this sense of curiosity and this sense of wanting to explore the outer fringes, then we want to hear from you. Alongside playing on projects, you will have access to our new artist development programme called Modulate, which we're very excited about. This is a year-round programme of talks, seminars, residencies, networking opportunities, uh, funding for your own projects and ideas to grow. In the next section, we meet four para orchestra musicians. They give interviews direct to camera in the carpeted foyer of a venue, interspersed with shots of each of them performing live with para orchestra on television and in rehearsal spaces and laughing and chatting with other musicians in between rehearsals. Leela Bhattacharji plays flute and piccolo with para orchestra. She's a young light-skinned woman with shoulder-length black hair wearing a white t-shirt and black jeans. Liza Beck is a composer and recorder player they are white, in their thirties, with long brown hair and wear a sleeveless white button-up shirt. Oliver Vibrands is a composer and percussionist in Para Orchestra. He's a white man in his thirties with brown middle-length hair, wearing a white turquoise and purple tie-dyed shirt. Oliver is a wheelchair user. Finally, we meet Ed Leach, who plays tuba and sousaphone, Ed is a white man in his thirties with short blonde brown hair wearing shorts and a deep blue shirt. Power is just really, really good at considering each player's access requirements and sort of individual needs on performances and kind of around performances as well. Like, it is really, really nice to be able to be so open about what you need on a project and what is going to make it so that you're able to participate to the best of your ability. So I had a really brilliant experience of applying and interviewing with Power Orchestra. Never heard of Power Orchestra before, I didn't know anybody in Power Orchestra, haven't played in an orchestra for the best part of 15 years. Um, and we had a brilliant Zoom call with Lloyd and Charlie and they were very, very welcoming. Um, it wasn't intimidating at all and the first time I actually came to meet everybody on site for a project, yeah, it really felt part of the community I suppose from the beginning. I think what's unique about Power Orchestra is that for me, Um, 
I didn't want my hearing to dictate the work I got. I was a bit embarrassed about it and I kind of put it to one side and thought it wasn't for me. And I wish I'd applied earlier because it's such an amazing place to play. There's so many opportunities and although it's for people with disabilities and they provide for them, it's not the main focus and it's not a, a group that's not as professional or not as high standard. So if you're thinking about applying for it, I'd say just go for it. It's just massively changed my confidence levels and my creativity and belief in my own creativity and feeling like I am able to express something and I just feel like that is something that is worthwhile doing for any musician and I think it's good to come to somewhere that is going to support you like that. In the closing section of the film we return to Charles and Lloyd and a compilation of footage of para orchestra musicians performing on television in the foyer of a brightly lit concert hall in the daytime and on stage at an outdoor festival. An end slide displays a para orchestra logo and a URL paraorchestra.com forward slash musicians call out. Finally, logos for para orchestra's core funders are displayed. I'm always really Arts excited at the possibility of meeting new potential musicians for para orchestra. We are looking for people, of course, with talent, with skill sets, with passion, but with open hearts, open minds, a sense of play, a sense of fun, a sense of of fearlessness actually, of courage to kind of go the extra mile, to go on any adventure that we all collectively agree we want to embark upon. That's the kind of fierce spirit we want more of here at Power Orchestra Towers. So if this sounds like something for you, then please head to our website where you'll find all the details of how to apply. We hope to hear from you soon.